This is the Melita Model 7 16. It's a pinwheel machine and yeah the 16 in the model number is just the number of digits in the main register. It has several really nice features that you don't see on many other uh, pinwheel machines. In particular if you uh, enter something with the uh, with these input pins and turn the crank the input pins stay stationary. And that's really because these input pins are not directly connected to the uh, pinwheels. They're, they essentially move uh, a toothed rack over the pinwheels and uh, yeah, as soon as you uh, turn the crank they get disconnected and stay in place. You can actually also see that the input register shifts to the left slightly as you pull out the, uh, the crank handle and that is because yeah, these input pins are directly connected to these input wheels and those in turn are normally connected to the pin wheels but when you extract the uh, crank the, the, sh the shifts to the left disconnecting these from the pin wheels. So that's, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, and in that way you can add to uh, the main register. I've added this number three times now, so this is actually a, a small multiplication by three. Three is over here in the counter. This counts how many times you've turned the crank. I can shift the carriage by using these large um, buttons with my thumb. And in that way you can then enter a tens digit in the multiplier. So at the moment I've multiplied this number by 23 and the result is here. The, uh, yeah, the output here can be cleared using this uh, handle. Simply turn this, but you have to, have to turn it twice for some reason. I don't know why they geared it so that it, you have to turn it twice. Uh, but uh, yeah, Melita has an interesting uh, history. It was first used as a brand by Mercedes. Mercedes Bureau Machinenwerke. And they made a, an initial uh, pinwheel machine in 1924 under that brand name. But pretty soon they uh, decided to concentrate on the Mercedes Euclid machines and sold the rights to the pinwheel models to Walter. Uh, Walter was a company. Uh, based in the same place in Zella Melis in uh, Thüringen in Germany and Walter then started making those pinwheels mach pinwheel machines under their own brand name un the name Walter but also under the Melita brand name in yeah so that uh, Mercedes could sell them under that brand name so uh, this Melita machine is from much later. This was made in the 1950s but it wasn't made by Walter. You see Walter uh, was also an arms manufacturer and it switched to making calculators after the, sec after the First uh, World War because it could no longer make uh, arms in the same way. But in the Second World War yeah they were making arms again and uh, yeah they got bombed and the, f the factories got completely destroyed and just after the second world war the Volta family uh, decided to leave the uh, Soviet occupied region where they were based and went to the uh, western uh, side however the, there were still a lot of uh, ex-employees of Volta in that area and they rebuilt the, the production line and 
Yeah, I started producing the model, the Walter model calculators again, but resurrecting the brand name Melita. And yeah, that became a, a new company independent of Walter using the Walter designs. Uh, yeah, they soon moved to uh, a different place, different town in the area, uh, a, a, a town, small town called uh, Suhl, also in Thüringen, and they merged with a Fortuna Werk. And here you see it's the model 7 in Roman numerals, 16, and the serial number 90701. Uh, you see, yeah, so this is a, a completely new design, well, not completely, but a mostly new design that uh, is independent of, uh, of Walter, but yeah, it still has a lot of uh, features. For example, the fact that this, this carriage is spring-loaded and the carry mechanism in the, in the counter, that's all directly still from the uh, old designs of Walter. But yeah, this input uh, arrangement, that's new, as are these huge uh, thumb buttons. Uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's a fairly straightforward uh, design. The input can be cleared with uh, an, a bar here. That bar is internal to the machine, unlike the Walter machines, that they had it on the outside. Um, so yeah, I showed you a small multiplication. Uh, you can clear the register um, with this, but if you only want to clear the counter, you can move this small switch to the left, and that only does the counter, or you can move it to the right, and that only does the the uh, input, the output register, and leaves the counter alone. Uh, yeah, let me do uh, uh, division. The Walter machines had a switch here that. Uh, controlled which direction the counter would move if it would count additions or subtractions. Uh, yeah, that switch isn't here, uh, but it does have an indicator here, plus or minus. The switch is actually here on the right-hand side, just behind the crank. And that uh, means you don't have to move your hand over to the other side. You can keep your hand on this side. All the controls are here. So let me uh, enter a number, uh, say 355, the usual uh, division. So I'll just clear the counter. And then uh, divide that by 113. So I'll have to, uh, yeah, subtract. So I'll, I've put this on the subtraction mode. So here we go. You can hear the bell so uh, that it underflowed. Oh. And uh, yeah, shift it one to the left and do that again. So there we go, the result of that division is 3.1415929. It has one more feature, which is the uh, back transfer mechanism. 
if you uh, if you have a, a number in the register and then you can transfer that back into the inputs first ooh, these uh, tops do come off a bit too easily yeah a lot of them are missing uh, so first you have to ensure that the uh, input is cleared the back transfer is this knob here if the input isn't cleared it just doesn't engage so you have to clear the input first and now this engages it's uh, prepared for the back transfer and now you simply have to clear this and it'll transfer it to the inputs there we go so now it says 455 up here that allows you then to uh, do the calculations with that so this uh, is quite a nice uh, simple machine oh yeah one more thing if you accidentally activate the uh, back transfer uh, and don't actually want to go through with it you can release it with this uh, this small metal pin here on this side of the crank uh, the carriage you pull push this down and it releases the uh, the back transfer button yeah you push that down if you um, ever need to uh, to do some cleaning or lubricating of the machine you can uh, extract the uh, the carriage from uh, from the mechanism simply by removing that screw there and then and then uh, that releases this small uh, sorry this small metal uh, bit and that comes out and then you can slide the the carriage out to the left and the rest of the, the casing comes off pretty easily just re removing the screws yeah and that's pretty much it it's a it's a really nice uh, good looking uh, pinwheel machine this was the Melita model 716 thank you for watching